Well, hello guys. Welcome back. So sometimes when I do those shorts, it's something I really know takes like 10 minutes to explain, but we do a shorts every day. So sometimes you get something really tiny. So excuse me, I am sorry. So let me set this up. Odin and I hadn't been getting along lately. And sometimes we do that. Sometimes we can drift apart because I tend to see him as my hero and I tend to see him big and strong and tough and not needing anyone, and that's not so. He has emotions like everyone else, usually angry. I go, yeah, but, you know, he's not that bad. But, you know, um, he, you know, sometimes I just see him as this hero that doesn't need anybody or want anybody, and so we have friction. So there was all that craziness going on that I talked about in the community tab. And late last night, the new dehumidifier that's only a couple months old, I go downstairs to milk the girls, as I call it, and there's a puddle of water under it. And I'm like, oh my god, no, now what? At first I thought groundwater had come up through my basement, and no, it had leaked. And I, I lifted out the bucket, I couldn't see anywhere in the bucket. And I went online, I hurried online, because it was, it was a fair, not a huge puddle, it wasn't like a small lake, but it was like way too much to be dropped out of your dehumidifier. And I'm like, well, okay, did the coils freeze over? Because I, I remember having a fridge do that when I was a little girl, like the coils froze over and it leaked everywhere. Or what's happening? And I went and I looked on Amazon, and the only thing I could find was the same thing in the book, that maybe your hose connector was loose. So I go down, I really tighten up the hose connector, and I think, well, maybe that's what's, you know, it's like a plug in the back. I thought, well, maybe that's what was making the rattling noise, but no, the it, it rattles, right? And I check it. After a half hour, it's okay. Meanwhile, a thunderstorm is rolling in. Thor doesn't want me to take a bath, but I feel like black because I'm like, ugh. So I hurry up and take a bath, and I thought I heard thunder right before my bath. I, I bath, 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 get out, ba-boom. So this is going on. Go to bed. Odin and I are talking. We're making up. We're sharing stuff we should have. And, this, you know, I talk to the gods every night. So um, this is like the time you have, because I have insomnia, and I have a couple hours before I'm going to get to sleep. So there you go. Um, long story short, we plan a shopping trip. I invite Segan, um, everybody else ends up, you know, you know, going, oh, can I come too? Can I come too? So like five or six of us are going shopping, right? I can't sleep all night long because I'm so excited. It feels like Christmas. So then I'm so excited. And I had asked Odin if he could appear in a dream just to let me know no hard feelings, just to let me know he's okay and everything. And I'm really talking to Odin and it isn't just my imagination and Odin didn't leave like a year ago or so. And he's like, mm, you know, like he does, like maybe he will, maybe he won't. Well, I have the dream this morning. I'm the girl in the bikini. And I know it's Loki. And then I have a dream of a little black cat in a hat. And I know that's Loki too. And they're both games we have. He He's not as interested in the other game. He What he wanted, he wanted the shopping trip for himself. I said to the rest, I said, we'd plan to go as a family and everything else. Because Odin had really pushed me. From, what was it, Monday I first started telling you he was pushing me? It's it's over on Patreon for patrons. We made $1,000. So I took Loki on a $1,000 shopping spree in that store. Do you know, one, we couldn't buy everything. But two, we bought everything we wanted up until now. And then we saw it's like they keep adding clothes. And we were like, we could earn like another 500 and come back here and buy a bunch of cute bikinis. Because we own all the shoes now. So... <laughs> And he helped me find the makeup yesterday, so he was really excited, and we found more Let's Plays. We've really dug for this thing. And, you know, there are some people, I have essential tremors, so I have to watch, like, when I do my own makeup, you notice it too. And I have the same glitch in um, games as I do in real life. I have a very hard time, because of my essential tremors, getting both sides even, so <laughs> I hope her makeup looked okay in the community tab. But there was this one thing that I almost thought they must have photoshopped it or something because her makeup was just like so highly detailed, like six different colors on the eyes. And I'm like, well, they could have done it with like a pencil on a pad or something, you know, like um, like an iPad or something, like one of those stylists. I don't know. I have no idea, but we're going to play with makeup today. 
There are no walk more dogs and earn more money, but we already went on a thousand dollar spree, a shopping spree. It was so much fun, guys. We just kept buying stuff. Loki kept going, that, that, that. I like you and those. I like you and those. We got the shorts we wanted. We got the sarong. We got a black dress, a black summer dress. Did you see those? We got a white summer dress, which Loki likes me in. Um, now the character's me. We're that far. <laughs> um... We got the this one um chocolate I thought it was um for playing um volleyball, like for beach volleyball. Oh my god guys. I I don't know what the, I think this game was designed for adults and at the last minute they made it for kids. Cause we went down to the beach and we looked at the sign in front of the beach shack. Remember that place? There's like zombies and mojitos on the on the menu, but you can't order them. And that, that, um, volleyball thing that I thought would be, like, a more decent cut, because some of the guys in that thing just, like, straight up wear at you. Um, it's, like, so teeny tiny. It's, like, almost a string bikini, but somehow ten times worse. And Loki and I were both, like, because oh, you can't see this stuff. There's, like, no three-way mirror. You guys saw when you shop, that's it. You're just stuck in place. You can't see what the back looks like. So you don't see the back until you've bought it and it's on your character and you're going, I can see so much of my butt. What kind of game is this? Was this made for children? And it's really not even that shocking. It's just we expected a sports brawl top and a sporty bottom. And we got this thing between a thong and a bikini bottom. It's like that, like that one that's like, you know the one I mean? Like, it's not just a tiny strip, but it's like, it adds the little V up on top, and it's like a really narrow band. I don't know what that cut's called. It's not, it's not a thong. It's like in between a thong and like a bikini cut, I guess. I don't know, but that, and then the top does not wrap around and wrap around in the back. The top just goes to the to the top with tiny string and in the back with a tiny string and I said she's almost dressed and goes I know you're putting a sarong on <laughs> so we were both embarrassed because her butt's hanging out now and we're like oh my god but the, it does look cute we were just shocked I'm like I thought this was a game for little kids and like they pass themselves off as like family friendly and wholesome I'm like there is nothing wholesome about that bikini. <laughs> Just to be clear, one second, guys. Sorry, allergies. Sorry about that. Just to be clear, as pagans, we have no concept of sin. So I wouldn't care if it was a buck naked nudist speech in this game, but... Um, it's just, it was surprising because they said it was a family-friendly game. I'm like, that's like on the border of, yeah, kick mom and dad out of the room. We're putting on the teddy bikini tab. So I was like, yeah. So... <laughs> We just kept looking at each other like, oh. Um, so we got that. We got the makeup. Um, I bought him cookie. I bought him um baby. What is it again? Remind me. Biscuit, biscuit. Um, I don't know who the developers were, but you can buy both a cookie and a biscuit. And I'm like, but those are the same exact thing. One is just in bar form. So there's two types of cookies you can buy. Not the American biscuit, which is a fluffy corn or um what is the other one? Buttermilk or something else. Those are biscuits that break apart and you have like with sausage or something. This is a cookie. The the European word for biscuit. Is it primarily English? I think so. So we got a biscuit and I'm sure like European players would like know exactly what brand it is because Coke's branded. Um, there's a energy drink that's monster but not. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm sure the, the cookies are branded too. Um, but the one cookie looks kind of green. I said, I hope it's macadamia nut or something, because that is one nasty looking cookie, but he wanted one. So we bought cookies, cake, ice cream, Coke, um, a biscuit. Um, what else we bought? We bought a newspaper, suntan lotion, um, body lotion. And our raging debate is that I, I, you guys know I have disabilities. There's no way I can play the mini games on the next day to progress. To um, you will progress, and I I really don't want to do the dating part. And you have to do the dating part to keep progressing. And maybe that would open a jewelry shop, but we're like, you know what? We're good with just buying clothes and putting our makeup on and playing with dogs forever. 
I asked Odin, I said, is it really going to bother you if I don't finish this game? He's like, do you really want to date that tip? I'm like, no. And I said, there's no way to skip the mini games. And with my disabilities, I'm just not going to hit it. I tried for two, three days in a row to win the gold for uh, Team Yellow in <laughs> the Olympics thing from Google. I'm just, I'm not good at rhythm games. I never have been. Um, if there was a skip function, sure, I'd do it. But I'm like, nope. If you could skip the dating, I wish you could. I honestly wish it could just be buying clothes, going out with your friend, eating ice cream, having fun on the beach, shout out Loki, getting a couple drinks, because apparently this, this had to be designed for adults originally. I have a feeling that there is an adult version somewhere that we don't need to see and ruin the purity of the moment. I go, yep. And, you know, just go in and, you know, keep changing our clothes, keep walking doggos, like eight more kinds of doggos to walk. That would be nice. So, yeah, we had, we had a good time. And Loki is that kind of god. He didn't like Odin and I arguing, and Thor is now more presence in my life, and... I honestly, for a moment, I thought maybe Thor was behind the dehumidifier thing, because I associate him with fixing machines, and again, guys, I'm terribly sorry. One second. Sorry about that. So, you know, um, I, I honestly thought, well, could Thor have done this to show his displeasure? But, you know, Thor usually does not do that, though. He, he kind of took the blame, but the more I thought of it, it was a foxy trick. But we are under a heat advisory today. That is when my lights are on. It's going to be a heat index of 113 today. So yeah, no lights on. I apologize to him. I haven't been running his lights. I mean, we have the, the running lights, as I call them on, like you see behind me. But um, I haven't put his lights on. I Like, I had them on for a little bit yesterday and had them on for a couple of days in a row. But... I, I'm like, I, I'm afraid it's an old house. I'm afraid we're going to blow all the fuses. And then, you know, there's no shop in town and I can't drive. Where on earth am I going to go on a moment's notice for fuses? I think I have one, maybe two. So I'm like, yeah, we're taking it really easy. I feel bad for him. But with a heat index of 113, we're, we're kind of staying inside today and not doing anything. So I was more than happy to take him shopping. He doesn't even want the cat game. We're going to go back in and start rinse and repeat. We made a thousand bucks, spent it in five minutes, and it took us from like the beginning of the, the week to today to make that. Well, to wait last night. Now we're going to go again. So, you know, hey, we're going to have fun. Um, After we buy up all the rest of the bikinis, there's a couple other dresses we can get and we can get every pair of pants and there's a couple tops we need and we bought the top of that tramp that keeps walking into us so yeah <laughs> but look he's that kind of god it's really important to him it was something we could do together and you know we can't get outside and the heck am i hearing and it was just something fun to do so you know you don't have to spend a lot of money with loki that game was a whole 90 cents in that bundle and I don't want to tell you how long we've played it, but we've played that game alone long enough to pay for that bundle and, like, ten other bundles we've bought, so we sunk a lot of time into it. But it's very soothing. It's helping with the depression, because you go to the beach, you swim, you eat ice cream, you live an easy life, and they don't care if I ever complete it, so I'm happy. So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.